Okay, so welcome to the Axminster Skill Centre. My name's Craig. Let's see what's on this week. Follow me. So this week we've got the five-day Windsor chair course. We've got six students coming, looking to wait, make uh, Windsor chairs, cutting the seats out, bending the bows, shaping the bows, doing all the wood turning, so all the legs, all the arm supports. Uh, Follow me and we'll have a look in each room and see what's happening. So we find ourselves in, uh, in the noisy room to start with. This is where the guys cut out from a slab of ash, two inch slab of ash, their seat shape, and they rough out the, uh, the seat profile. So come on in. So firstly, the guys will, they'll go to the bandsaw with their slab of ash. Follow me over, so they'll be taking a slab of ash you know some have got some beautiful figuring in some really nice detail some lovely grain patterns so it'll be over to the bandsaw to cut out their seat shape after that point they'll go over to the to the Arbitec turbo planes which is uh, a carving tool which fits to an angle grinder just to rough out the rough shape of their seat so we've got the rough shape here and we, we, get, we actually encourage the guys to, to sit on the seat and, and see whether their bum fits what they've cut. You know, so it's got to be comfortable. Okay, so a little bit noisy, a little bit dusty in here, but let's have a closer look. I'll put my specs on, safety first. So if we, if we come and have a little look here. Okay. You can see that the guys, they've finished with their, their Arbitec turbo plane and they've switched over to the Sabertooth rotary rasp. Now that's a less aggressive tool and it just takes them down closer to the final finish. You can see some beautiful figuring in this one. How's it going, all right? All good? You see some beautiful figuring in this one, lovely piece of ash, okay? And we're getting very close to a final finish on this one. Thank you, nice. Right, so let's, let's go out of the noisy room for a little bit of tranquility. Come on in. I'm hoping you heard everything I said in there, but it's, uh, it's a bit of a noisy room and a dusty room, but basically it's, it's rough forming, rough shaping the seat uh, um, from, from that slab of ash. After that point, we go over to the, to the tranquil room. You can actually hear yourself think, and the guys will be picking up the hand tools then. We'll be picking up the hand tools. So spoke shaves, travishers, uh, pull shaves, just to finely finish, get some real nice smooth finishing on, the, on their chair seat. Okay. In this room as well, sharp tool is a good tool. So the, the guys that are on the course will be taught a fair bit about, about sharpening as well. We'll have a big sharpening session because um, it's important to be sharp, as you all know. Okay, so, so follow me on round. So we've got a selection of uh, some of the tools the guys will be using from um, spoke shaves curved, spoke shaves flat, pull shaves, the cabinet scraper, very important part, a bit of kit. We've got curvy shapes and this curved cabinet scraper will get in those uh, chair seats in all the curves. A um, little bit of sanding as well. Um, love, the, love the Merca sanders in here, big fan. Um, so that's kind of chair seats. Also in this room, after we've done our steam bending session, we'll, uh, we'll be shaping the, the steam bent bows, because there's two bows, isn't there? You know, you've got, you've got an arm bow, and you've got a top bow that comes into the arm bow. All right? So these guys will be will putting in this detail here, putting in the shapes, um, and also smoothing, shaping, rounding over the, uh, the arm bows, as well as that top bow. Um, customers have got a little bit of freedom as well when it comes to the shaping. They want a little short taper. Some, like like these, a bit more of a bit more of a one-sided taper. Some a longer, slower taper, but all coming down to that same kind of half-inch peg size. So. Uh, it's quite a nice room, like I say, tranquility after the after the, the angle grinding arbor teching. Uh, 
happens to a little bit of peace and quiet. So we've kind of seen really from the chair seat upwards. What we'll have a look now, we'll go into the other room, we'll go into the turning room and have a look from the seat down. All right, so very timely, Jason, bringing the chair in, thanks. So what we'll have a look at now, we'll go into the turning room and we'll look from this point down. The guys are making the legs, the stretchers, the arm supports, and in the arm supports, they'll be looking to pick up a similar sort of look and similar sort of detail that they've got in the legs. Let's go and see Colwyn, see what he's up to. So, into our wood turning room now. The guys have been turning for about half a day, so there should be a fair way along um, their legs, I would think they'll start with. Um, they'll have a good idea of design and kind of shape, because you know, the guys have got the freedom to put whatever shape they want them on, on, on the legs, as long as it falls within the same sort of uh, design. Come on in. Hi everybody, how we doing? All right, all good? All right, so they've, they've got their pattern down, they've got their, their, their chosen design. Yeah. All right, they've had a look in the books and have a look at our chairs. Yeah. And they've made one. Lots of drawings. Lots of, oh, that's good, yeah. Yeah, we've got lots of drawings, yeah, so. Oh, that's good. So, I don't know if you can see, but what the guys will do, they'll, they'll put a rough sketch down, not necessarily with any dimensions at this point, but just so they've got an idea of where and what, the, what they want to do. So they make one. But then I guess the tricky thing is making another three the same. That's exactly what they're on at the moment. So they're measuring the calipers, the dividers, uh, rules, and they're just measuring everything. So just one step at a time um, to get that overall um, capacity. Yeah, let's have a look. So I think we've got the beading and parting tool there, just, just taking them down to the peg dimensions, which is Know, probably the top or maybe even the bottom of the chair leg. It looks like the top of the chair leg at this point. And this dimension's critical and it stays the same. Probably when he's, he's got to this point and he's down to the dimension he wants, he probably won't touch that again apart from a little bit of sanding. That's good. Okay, let's have a little look around the room, shall we? See where we're at. A little bit of sharpening as well. Sharpening, yeah. Yeah, so. All right, so kind of chosen method, if you like, of, of sharpening in here is, is the Tormac method. Uh, water cooled, retains the original temper of the steel, repeat angle, same angle, correct angle every single time, um, using various different setup gauges, but it's, it's kind of set and forget. It's so simple to get, get it right. There we go. So with a very little touch, just working on the, the flute on the side, just double checking he's got the right angle. And nice, you can see that slow wheel rotating in that water trough. Okay. A uh, number of different methods you can use to, to sharpen on your, on your Tormek here. You can work on the flutes to start with and then blend in the nose. And then what you'll do, you'll do a complete, a couple of complete sweeps of the chisel just to make sure you've got all those facets blended in. There we go, there we go. Oh, good technique, look at that. He's done that before. There we go. That's all it needs. Super sharp with a couple of strokes. Okay, so follow me out. That really is just a quick snapshot of what we've got going on this week in the Axminster Skill Centre. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative. Thanks a lot. See you next time.